How you doing, YouTube? Now with Massive Beer Reviews, back to yet another review. A little bit of <sighs> triple IPA time in the form of Commonwealth Brewing in Charlestown Fermentory. It's their Feather Boas Triple India Pale Ale. Um, yeah, Commonwealth. Ryan, thank you very much, brother. He's the one who sent me pretty much every single Commonwealth I've had. I had a colleague from work stop there once and bring me some stuff, and I oddly had one come from a beer mill from Boston. Um, but yeah, he sent me off a bunch of stuff, and it's been a while since he sent me stuff. But um, the other day he said, hey, man, need your new address, because I just moved. And he's like, I'm going to send you off some stuff, and this is one of them. So thank you very much, brother. Um, as far as what else it says on here, it is 10.3%. And I think that's it. They don't date their cans, but... This has got to be relatively fresh. Special release, and that'd be that. They do the kind of base can that's not, like, wrapped. Is it wrapped? Oh, yeah, it's a wrapped can. Um, and then they throw stickers on it. And, you know, the labels are usually pretty cool, graphic-wise. So I dig it. So here you go. Triple IPAs. Mm. I can take them or leave them. They've been really good as of late. Some of the AAA IPAs I've had have been pretty damn fantastic. So hopefully this is one is like that. Half a pinky finger, off white head. Um, nice creaminess to it, nothing too crazy. And it's got a soft kind of, kind of rich, real honey kind of glow to it. Uh, soft carbonation, soft taste, nothing too crazy. It's on the darker end of things when these triple IPAs, usually when they skew a bit dark like this, I'm not the biggest fan of the world. But I could be wrong. Looks do not a beer make. See if we get a nose on it. Piney sappy, um, kind of West Coasty, kind of triple IPA. There's something weird in there though. There's like a a paint thinner acetony thing. It could be just that fusel alcohol coming off negative. Like, yeah, it's definitely like a latex paint, um, acetone kind of thing going on. Very prevalent, almost like um. Slightly burnt plastic, like hot eraser, like you know when you're school and you erase stuff really quick. That big pink eraser and you smell it. It's kind of have that vibe going on. There's hops in there, but I now I can't get past that nose. Yeah, there's some herbally kind of uh, spicy hops in there. Um, not too much sweetness, but uh, yeah, it has that kind of plasticky kind of latex painting thing going on there. So let's dive in. Cheers. It's not that bad. It's as bad as I thought it was going to be. Let's put it that way. It still has a little bit of kind of synthetic chemical latex painting kind of acetone thing going on, but it's not as big as you thought it would be based off the nose. The hops definitely come off piney, west coast with a bit of herbaliness, a little bit of spiciness, a little bit of sappiness. Um, definitely west coast all the way. A little bit of citrus peel, a little bit of rindiness in there, nothing too crazy. Definitely go leaning heavily on the kind of piney, danky kind of side of things. Yeah, that little bit of, like I said, chemical kind of latex painty thing going on. That's not too bad in the taste. It's barely there, but you definitely know it's there because the nose gives it to you so big. Nice mouthfeel to it. Um, definitely got the ABVs going for it. Feel a little bit of warming going on. Done and done. Uh, it's, a, it, you know, it is what it is. It's triple IPA. I, I'm not a big fan of them to begin with, and they really have to nail it to kind of make it work for me. Um, this one just kind of falls short of that. Um, I like the ones that drink like 5% beers, and this one is drinking definitely at its ABV, if not higher. And it's definitely kind of West Coast leaning. It's almost like a, a, a new school American barley wine more than a triple IPA. And while it's not like a horrible beer, it does have a bit of negative kind of going on in it. So it's not really, nothing that's really turning me on all that much. Yeah. I can see some people liking this, though. You can see, and we'll get to that. Actually, let's cut right to it, because I don't have much else to say. Everything I've said, I want to say, is it one of the better triple IPAs I've had as a late? No. Um, just kind of misses the mark for me, and just not where I want it to be. And that addition of that little latexy paint kind of thing going on just definitely knocks it out of there. Um, value and availability, don't know. Maybe Ryan can chime in on this and leave you with, if you like what, will you like this? If you like big, huge, old school, West Coast kind of IPAs. Because that's where this one kind of lands. Um, it just has that kind of piney, sappy thing going on. But in a 
pretty hefty package to where it's just like this is like a share with four people kind of can as opposed to drinking one to your head so it's definitely an impactful beer but not necessarily in the right ways for me but i could see a couple people liking especially if you're way into that west coast style you want something a bit more robust it will get you turned then uh yeah might be for you so there you go um want to talk about it down there um writing stuff um want to check me out on the social medias type beer massive beers into a Google or your social medias. Uh, if you want to see me doing a podcast thing, type Beer Massive into the Google or the uh, your favorite podcasting app. And I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a nice Commonwealth beer right now and hope to see you next time. Cheers.